Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can connect your Mac computer to VPN. So in my example, I'll be using my MacBook Air that has macOS Sonoma and I'll be using the VPN client from Surfshark. But the instructions I'm gonna show you will apply to any Mac OS that supports a VPN client and also to other VPN providers. All you have to do is match the instructions I'm gonna show you to your VPN provider. I'm gonna show you how to download the client, how to install it, and most importantly, I'm gonna show you the important settings that you need to adjust and the first startup of the VPN client because there are many privacy and security settings that you need to adjust so that your VPN client will work optimally. So let's start first by showing you how to download the VPN client. So open Safari and in Safari, go to surfshark.com, click on login, and then login using your credentials. When you log in, on the left, you have download apps, click on it. And then here you see get the desktop app for Mac OS. So click on download next to it. And then click on allow to allow Surfshark to download the application. Wait for the download to finish. And when the download finishes, you need to install the application. So let's click here to show the downloads. So here it is, double click on it. And then it will guide you to the installation. Let me minimize Safari so that we get a cleaner screen. So here simply you need to drag Surfshark to applications. So drag it like this and then release it. So your MacBook will chime only. Let's close it here. And let's go to Finder now and go to Applications. And you're gonna see Surfshark here. So it is by alphabetical order. And this is Surfshark. Double click on it to launch it. And at first launch, it will ask you if you wanna allow it to open. So click on OK and then agree and continue. And here it is asking you now to log in to your Surfshark account. So click on login and log in using your Surfshark account credentials. So now Surfshark is launched, but as you see, the VPN is not connected. Now, let me show you a little bit the settings of the VPN before I connect to VPN. So click on this icon here to go to settings and you have the first one VPN settings. Click on it. And here you can set the default connection location. If you wanna change it from the fastest location, click here and then choose the country you want. So let's go back. And here you have auto connect in case you want the VPN to auto connect after you launch it. I'm gonna enable it. I want it to auto connect. And for the auto connect, also you have preference for the location. So for the location, I'm gonna choose here the fastest location also. Let's go back. And an important setting is also clean web. Clean web will block trackers and will block also ads, but sometimes it blocks something that is not malicious. So if you have problems, disable it. Here, I'm gonna keep it on enabled for me. Kill switch, it is self-explanatory. So if you drop the VPN connection, you can disable the internet access immediately. And for the protocol, I am gonna advise you to keep it on automatic. You have WireGuard, you have also OpenVPN, so keep it on automatic. And rotating IP, so this is an added layer of privacy. So it will change your IP each like five minutes maybe. But sometimes there are sites that are IP sensitive. So if you connect with one IP and the IP changes, they might block you even if you're using a VPN. So if rotating IP also gives you problems, just disable it here. I'm gonna enable it for added privacy. And no borders, I'm gonna keep it enabled. So let me show you one other setting here. So under app settings here, you have launch app on startup. So I'm gonna keep it checked. So each time I log in to my Mac or I restart it, it will launch automatically and it will connect automatically to the quickest location. You have push notifications in case you want it and the app appearance in case you want it dark, for instance. So these were the main settings. Surfshark also has other settings like the alternative ID, but I'm not gonna go into these details now so that this video won't be very long. If you want me to cover them, just let me know in the comment section below. Let's go back to VPN now. And now to connect to the VPN, if you click on quick connect, it will connect to the fastest location. I'm in Canada, so it will connect to Canada. Otherwise, you can choose here the country you want. And also you can search for the country. For instance, if you wanna connect to Paris, France here, you can search for France. And then you have in France, all these locations, you can choose Paris, France, and it will connect to France. So only the first time you try to connect to a VPN, it will ask you to enable this setting. So let's open privacy and security and system settings, and let's go to extensions. 
and click on added extensions and then click on finder extensions and then click on done and let's go back to privacy and security there's still one setting that we need to enable here and you notice here that it says system software from application surfshark was blocked so we need to click on allow also here and then we need to identify ourselves to our mac so click on use password and then put the password for your mac account let's go unlock and here under security make sure that app store and identified developers is selected and then it says allow accessories to connect so click on it here and then choose always and here i'm gonna log in with my touch id and then let's close this one and let's try to connect now to france once again so let's click on connect and here it will tell you that you need to click on allow which is of course obvious so let's click on add vpn configuration and then click on allow and all these settings are only the first time the subsequent connections to vpn will not ask for this so now we are connected to the vpn i'm not gonna rate it now so let's try to disconnect and connect once again to see if it will work without asking all these questions and let's go to quick connect so that i can connect to my country and you see that it connects without asking any other question if you want to get surfshark at a discounted price you can use my affiliate link in the description below if you make a purchase using my link i will gain a small percentage but this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel i hope that you liked my video and you found it useful in case you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech i want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video